What's up ladies and gentle tubers, it's Tyler from the Everide channel and over the last few weeks I had a deluge of questions about which inexpensive comfort mods I used on my DRZ and my KLR for my high mileage trips to keep my sensitive parts from withering up and falling off my body like that dude's face in Indiana Jones. So to answer these questions I donned my wife's robe, brought the DRZ into my front room, got comfortable and made a really long and extremely awkward video about dual sport comfort mods. Well, rather than subject you to a long video of me in a short robe, awkwardly explaining enduro mods to slow jam music, I'll just sum things up and show a few cool moto clips and spare you the discomfort of the original comfort mod video. If you just can't stand to see me in a robe any longer, click here to see the article I wrote up that details every mod mentioned in this video. All the information and more with 100% less unsculpted pasty white hairy man flesh. Alright, so since you didn't click away to that link, I'll assume you're into this. Apparently you've got questionable taste and I've got no pride left. Either that or you really hate reading. So let's move on. This here is a DIY windscreen originally created by FML Stewart. It costs less than $10, takes less than a half hour to make, works like a champ, and keeps wind off your chest which greatly reduces wind fatigue. For a quick, effective, cheap, lightweight, and easy to remove comfort mod, this should be on every poor man's dual sport. Click the video annotations, the card, or the link in the description to see how it's done. These are ProGrip 714s. Lots of online research went into finding these, and the forums are right. These grips dampen vibes, are seriously comfortable, and last forever, and can be had from the link in the description for about 10 bucks. Again, more info on the Everride blog. If you need grips that keep your hands warm, Mr. Duff Factor recommends the Trackside Premium Heated Grips. They're reliable, hot, and relatively inexpensive. I've got them on my KLR and love them during cold months. This is a cramp buster given to me by my friend Franklin during the 5,000 mile West Coast Adventure Tour from Utah to Canada to Mexico on a KLR 650. If that sounds interesting, then click this link to watch it, but it is a work in progress. The cramp buster will keep your knuckles from seizing up and save your arm from cramping by using a thing called gravity. I was shocked at how bad my arm hurt during my adventure tour and how efficiently this little device relieved the pain. In fact, I'll never take another long ride without it. This was a topic of a lot of questions. I call it my Chewbacca. And it's the best comfort mod you can do to your motorcycle seat for the money. Sure, it might look like the severed arm of a Wampa Ice Beast, but for some cosmic scientific reason, this sheepskin makes riding like 10 times more comfortable. They can be pretty pricey, so I just cut off a bit of genuine sheepskin rug. Just tuck it between your tank bag and your green chili uprising rack, then combine it with a knife scabbard mod and a DIY windscreen, and suddenly you'll be right at home on the Fury Road. And comfortable too. The next thing to do is wear compression shorts. Here's a shot of my compression shorts. There's a link to inexpensive compression shorts in the description. And that's all we'll say about that. If you want more details, check out the article I wrote. But I think we've all had enough of my compression shorts. The final mod is to get a seat concept seat. People absolutely rave about these seats and after years of ownership and tens of thousands of miles on mine on both my KLR and DRZ, I can definitely see why. They're inexpensive, easy to install, more comfortable than seats that are twice the price. And the guys at Seat Concepts are heavily invested in the dual sport community and genuinely good people. And remember, I've already done the hardest parts by researching this gear and finding the best prices online, which you can find in the descriptions below. Using those links saves you time, saves you money, makes you more comfortable on your rides, and slightly increases the Everide channel's video budget, so that I don't have to subject you to more videos made in my front room in my wife's robe, which is reason enough alone. For more information on these mods, don't miss the Everide blog at everide.org. More comfort tips will be coming soon, so hit that big subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber then check back for a playlist link in the description. If you'd like to see the West Coast Adventure Tour that I talked about, click the video to the right. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentle tubers. Hopefully these tips will bring you many long and comfortable miles. My sincerest apologies for the robe. Ever ride out.